Hey everybody, how's it going? Christian from Treasure Town here, and today we're going to be speaking about the 1936 Buffalo Nickel, one of the more common Buffalo Nickels. All of them are worth a little bit over five cents. Some of them are worth way more than that. And this is what that, or that is what this is, video is going to be devoted to. I'll show you the ones that have varieties that make them way more collectible and rare where people are paying more for them. Um, it's super fun. It's like a treasure hunt. If you find it, it's a great feeling. So I'll show you one without the error. Um, just as a good sample where you're going to be focusing your efforts here. Then after that, we'll get into a PowerPoint presentation with clear photos of the error, a little explanation from me, and um, the values based off of what condition your coin is in. But let's get right into it. And here's our 1936 Buffalo Nickel. Um, there's going to be double die obverses and reverses, but on the front of the coin, you're going to want to look at the 1936 lettering or digits and the liberty um, for some hyper extra thickness same thing on the back of the coin there's going to be a double die reverse where it's really in the tops of those letters in of america and it'll be pretty clear if you have it but let me show you those uh, photos for clarity along with the values at different condition ranges uh, in the next part of the video and here we've got the first double die obverse. We're just sticking to double dies today's, but um, well, there's no repunishment marks. So this one is just a super extra thick variety. Um, you can almost see a little bit of a spread just because it's that thick, um, but all through the bottoms of the uh, nines, threes, and sixes, as well as like that almost spread northeast on the one, there's not a spread, but it's just super thick in that way. It almost becomes like a prism looking thing. Um, in VF20, it's a $50 coin as opposed to like a less than $1 coin normally. Um, in the Mint State 63 range, you're up to 500 bucks, which is just so much more than a regular Mint State 6336. Then 1200 in Mint State 65, good values in the AU range. Um, we see some slightly lower values for this, but still, the thickness, I guess, is real. You can see it, especially in the 9 and the um, thickness of the one like the width of the one um, the Liberty still going to present as thicker but here you can see almost a little bit more with so, some sort of vertical spread it's a little more um, muted in this example but similar values maybe in mid state uh, you're yeah you're seeing like a having because um, it's just not quite there then we get to the reverse and again it's not going to be something where there's a ton of shelving but you just see super super thick uh, United States of America, especially sort of in the tops of the letters that are that E, that C, um, just all through there. And this one gets expensive again, 100 bucks in VF20, uh, 1500 in say 65. This could be a good one to look for just because a lot of people won't be aware um, that it's really on there. It's not like a super shelved one. It's just going to be extra thick. So it probably has slipped through a fair amount of cracks in the past. Um, these can be tough to auction off just because um, you know, it's tricky how many people are collecting at the upper end, but on the other hand, they're not common. So if you do have one, um, sell it to the right collector and you could come away with a fortune off of a coin that's going to be maybe a dollar in some circulated ranges or just, uh, you know, 20, 30 bucks, especially if it's raw um, in the unk state. Thanks for watching the video. I'd encourage you to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to stay updated. I've also got Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, so you can follow me there. Um, treasuretownyt.com is the main channel website. Definitely give that a visit. I've got a lot of information about me up there and the channel. Uh, coingrabbag.com as well currently redirects there, but it's some good opportunities for very fair grab bags, both made by me and other sellers. A lot of different options, so that's a good way to support. Um, there's also treasuretowncoins.com. In the future, my coin dealing uh, operation will be done out of that website. Uh, coinmeltprice.com for updates on the melt prices of your coins, both U.S. and world. A lot of resources in that website. And then coinsmetalscards.com being developed right now as a marketplace and news source for coins, metals, cards, and collectibles in general. So I'll see you on my future videos. Looking forward to seeing you there and hope you have a good day.